Hi, it's Nicola Bird here and I wanted to, in today's life lesson from the garden, I wanted to share with you something that I've seen about um, learning, about understanding, about getting better at something, right? So as in my garden, I've been learning things and I've been getting things wrong and things have been being eaten and Things, some things are growing well and some things aren't. I could be, so you can hear my neighbour mowing, this is one of the downsides of, my, of doing these out in the garden. Um, I could be spending time on forums looking for why, are my, why is my cornflowers being eaten? What's wrong with my sweet peas? Um, why are all my plants dying? Why, um, why am I crying when everything gets eaten? Um, like, what's, go what's wrong with me that I can't seem to garden? Um, what's broken in my peonies? What's going wrong with this? What's going wrong with that? Why isn't this working properly? I could spend all my time going in that direction and asking those kind of questions in the groups and the forums that I'm in. But instead it makes more sense to me to figure out, well, how do you create great soil? How do you create optimal growing conditions? What is it about where something is planted that means it grows well? What support does it need in order for the plants to grow as big and strong as they can? Tell me about how nature works, right? Tell me about how all the pieces of the system fit together so beautifully so that what comes out is these amazing plants at the end of it with really long stems and beautiful flowers, hopefully, so that I can give them away. And it's looking into what's right about the system rather than what's going wrong with the system. It's, it's a really fundamental difference and it's so simple and innocently we trip up and we, we think a lot of the time about what's wrong. So the parallel to that is where I work with clients with anxiety and they're constantly asking me, yeah, but I worry about this and yeah, what about when this happens and what about tomorrow? But yes, this happened yesterday. But what about when this goes wrong? What about when my mind does this to me? What about when I awake at night? What about when I'm constantly looking to what's going wrong? And it's just a more pleasant experience to take a step back and look at health, look at healthy soil, look at healthy gardens, look at healthy flowers, look at healthy minds. If you want to have a more lovely experience of life, learn about a healthy mind and where that comes from. Don't be so interested about when it all goes horribly wrong, like the, the, the thoughts are bugging you or they're doing this or they're doing that. Not really interested. I'm kind of like when my plants fall over and die, I'm, oh well. And then I go upstream of the one flower that fell over and I go learn about soil and I learn about cultivation. I learn about horticulture. I'm learning the principles of horticulture at the moment. And I learn about how the system works. And yes, I'm going to get a few duff flowers and yes, I'm going to get some crazy thinking. But over time, as I understand more and more about how the system works, as I look to what creates healthy plants, looks what creates a healthy mind and where that comes from, fewer plants will start falling over. Already I'm seeing a difference in learning about horticulture and soil and the fundamentals and going upstream. I see so much that's helpful when I look at how a healthy mind and peace of mind is created. I'm less interested in all the noise that comes in to give the illusion that we're being taken away from that. So hopefully that's helpful for you today, my little floranthropy lesson. And um, yeah, get interested in the health of the system rather than what looks like it might be broken. That's my tip for today. I'll see you next week.